Okay, thank you so much, Teresa. She's gonna hang out at the Lakeview in case Liberty shows up there. Hey, Liberty, it, it's me. Look, I am really sorry about the fight, okay? And, and when you get this, can you please call me back or call your mom back because we're very worried about you. She's still not answering. I swear if Gabriel hurts her. What happened? Jack! Why was there a fight at the graduation party? Parker and Gabriel got into it. Over what? Nothing. Nothing, okay? It doesn't matter. I want to know. Can we not do this now? Parker, Jack. please. Gabriel grabbed Liberty. Okay, I think you wanted to talk to her. I don't know. Who threw the first punch? No, it doesn't matter. The point is, she got upset, and Gabriel went off after her. We haven't heard from her since. And you remember what happened the last time they took off together? He stole a car, and Gabriel she almost ended up getting arrested. Gabriel has bad judgment. I understand that, but there's no way he'd hurt Liberty. Then why hasn't she called us back? Maybe she went back to the Lakeview. She's not there. Teresa's there waiting for her. Okay, she isn't I'll call some guys I know on patrol. Have them keep an eye out for her, all right? Please, Jack. Anything you can do. We'll find her. And whatever you do, don't don't approach him or you spook him. Thanks. They have Liberty and Gabriel's descriptions. Anything we can do. Be patient. Don't get all freaked out, okay? I can't be good for the kid. Is there anyone else we should call? You know, somebody we haven't thought of yet? Uh, what, what about Mackenzie and, and other, Liberty's other friends, Kira and Alexa? Yeah, call them, okay? Okay, but I can't just do nothing or I'll go crazy. Let's take a drive. Maybe we'll see them on the street. Oh, good idea. Okay. <clears throat> Jack? Mm. How worried should she be? Well, it's, it's hard to say. When I questioned Gabriel at the station, I was pretty hard on him. He didn't crack. Well, maybe because he was telling the truth. Jack, innocent people can get nervous when they're interrogated. Well, last time you know? he was this nervous, he took off. I think he was avoiding the truth. Maybe he's gone now. And maybe that's a good thing. Okay. Well, if he did take off, would they really go with him? I don't, I, I don't know. I doubt it. She's done some pretty crazy things in the past. In the past, but not since she's been sick. You heard her speech at the graduation. Those were the words of a very together young woman. So Liberty wouldn't have gone off with Gabriel. At least, not willingly. Are you saying that Gabriel's holding Liberty hostage? No, no, that's not what he's that's saying That's exactly what he just, just said. I'm thinking out loud here. Parker, the possibility is extremely remote. I swear, if something happens to Liberty because of me. No, Parker. No, I started that fight with Gabriel. I'm the reason that she took off with that loser. But maybe she maybe she went and she's with one of her friends. I just or talked maybe to all she of her took friends. Off. All right, maybe she took off and went to the, the river or something to chill out. Or went to a movie or something. It's too soon to be worried about her. Listen, do you have a picture of her? Yeah, on my phone. Okay, email it to me. I'm going to go to the station, and I'll, and I'll send it out. Okay, someone's going to recognize her, but don't worry about it, all right? But I'll go with you. No, right? you won't. You're coming home with me. Listen to your mother. Go home. I'll call you as soon as I know anything. No messages. Where is she? Your father will find her. I hope so. So... Do you want to tell me what happened? No. You got jealous, and you let it get the better of you. It happens. You don't know anything, do you? Enlighten me. Yeah, I got jealous. Gabriel had his hands all over Liberty, and I couldn't take it. But that's not the only reason that I hit him. But that's what you told your dad and me. Yeah, because neither of you wanted to hear the truth, especially you. And what's the truth? I called Gabriel a liar. I told him that I knew for a fact that Craig did not hit him the day of the fire, that he didn't, he wasn't the one that left him there. You said this in front of pe people? You said this in a room full of people? It's the truth, Mom. Parker, the truth could send you to jail. Is that what you want? What I want is for this nightmare to be over, but it just keeps getting worse. I know this has been hard for you, Parker. We just have to hold on a little bit longer. And hey, hopefully Gabriel's left town. But if he hasn't, you have to stay away from him. You can't get in his face again. You just have to let him stick to his story, okay? Didn't Dad question him again today? Yeah. And Gabriel kept his mouth shut. But Dad knows that he's lying. No, he doesn't. He doesn't know that. He might have a suspicion, but he doesn't know it. It's the same thing. You know how Dad is. He'll keep pushing him and pushing him until he cracks. Or until Dad thinks that Gabriel's telling the truth. But he's not. Parker, just trust me on this, all right? No, I can't do this anymore. Where are you going? To find Gabriel. I'm going to make him tell the truth. Parker! I can't let you do that. Procedure. Grady, get this guy in the ER. Get him checked out. What's going on? Oh, 
afraid knocked him out, and then he escaped. And, you know, it's just when I thought that my brother might actually be telling the truth. He is his own worst enemy. This is just par for the course. Did you put out an APB? Well, who's in charge here today? Oh, God. I, Craig Montgomery is on the loose. He's escaped. What the hell happened to you? He attacked me. Like worldwide. Look at me. And he nearly killed me. What? Well, he changed his mind about kill, killing me. But he left me. He left me bound and gagged in the office. My granddaughter, Faith, a poor child, traumatized. She found me. Anyway, I'm pressing charges. I'm pressing charges. I want that animal to pay. <gasps> right now, your dad doesn't know that Gabriel's lying about what happened that day. He's suspicious, but he doesn't know, so he doesn't have to choose between you or his badge. So you can't say anything, all right? I can't keep doing this, Mom. All I ever see is you and Dad fighting. We were. But it's better now. We turned a corner, and he's backed way off the case, so don't say anything. For God's sake, stay away from Gabriel, all right? Will you promise me that? This doesn't feel right, Mom. Hopefully, Gabriel's left town anyway. And what about Craig? Oh, who cares about what Craig? What happens to him? He just rots in a cell for something that he didn't even do? Parker, who cares? He's a thief. He stole millions of dollars from no, I know. He set fire to a building. I know that. And, and I'm not saying that he didn't do anything wrong or that Gabriel didn't do anything wrong, but I did too. What did you do? You popped the kid who was stealing from you. You think you should go to jail for that? Maybe I'll get some peace from that. Parker, if you do, you'll never be the same again. Maybe that's the price I have to pay. Okay. If you won't keep quiet because it's what's best for you, would you please do it for me? Would you please do it for me? Craig has already taken so much from us. Don't let him take you from me, too. Mark. Oh, Mark, the evil, the evil. His eyes, when he held it, he held it. The cord up against my throat. Lucinda, what was his reason for being there? Why did he come to you? I don't, I don't know. He, he wanted to kill me. Yes, I, I, I got that. But why this time? I, I... Uh, it has something to do with, the, you know, the Gabriel secret and all that. All right, well, Craig has known about Gabriel for weeks now, but why now? Why would he risk everything? You see, it just doesn't add up. Oh, for what does in his twisted mind? You know, Marco, you know, you have just, you have stuck by him the way you have. All his life is commendable, if unprofessional. But, and I'm sure that uh, your visits to him will will bring him great comfort when he spends the rest of his life in the slammer. <sighs> yeah, well, I gotta find him first. Oh, oh. Okay. 